you have just renewed your passport congratulations keep watching this video to learn how to transfer your new zealand visa from your old passport to your new passport guys it's a girl the assassin engineer if you renew your passport you need to transfer your valid new zealand visa to your new passport this applies for both the physical label and the e-visas whether you have either of these are recorded against your passport on the new zealand immigration system so you need to transfer your valid visa to your new passport you must inform immigration new zealand once you get a new passport so they can update their records and this will enable you to also travel in and out of New Zealand. You can either request an e-visa or you can request for a physical visa label. The quickest way to transfer your visa to your new passport is by requesting an e-visa and there is no application fee for that. You simply do that online. But if you want a visa label, there will be a fee. To request a transfer of your visa and get an e-visa, you have to complete for transfer or confirmation of visa form and include a copy of your new passport and a copy of your old passport if you have it. So this is what the form looks like. When you click this link, it opens up this page where you have an online application form for transfer or confirmation of a visa and it tells you who can use this form. So you can use this form if you are transferring your e-visa or visa label to a new passport or you're applying for the balance of a visa which you're going to look at later or you're just confirming your new zealand immigration status there is no fee if you want an e-visa or a confirmation letter but there is a fee if you require a visa label and you must pay after you submit this form i'll look at the fees later but let's look at the documents you will need you will need to upload a copy of your passport but if you want a visa label, you have to send your passport to them, the new passport. And all the documents should be PDA, JPEG, or JPG format, single file, photograph is required. Then these are other documents that you may need if applicable. But this one does not apply to us. Now, if you want to transfer to a visa label, to request a transfer of your visa and get a visa label, you have to complete that same form and include a copy of your new passport and a copy of your old passport. After you've completed the form, you pay the fee and after that, you must send your passport with a copy of your application confirmation email to the Immigration New Zealand and then they'll provide further instructions after you've completed. They will provide those further instructions after you've completed the online form. So where do you send this your passport if you want a visa level? This is the address that you should send it to if you're inside New Zealand, but if you're outside New Zealand, this is also the address you should send it to. So basically it's the same thing. You have to post it to them and they tell you once they have done the necessary transfer they will courier your passport back to you as soon as that is done and they recommend that you courier your passport to them if you're outside new zealand you should also include a prepaid return courier back so that when they finish they will courier your passport back to you so the good thing about this is that you can apply to transfer your visa to your new passports whether you are within new zealand or outside new zealand and this is really good for people who travel back home to renew their passport or while they are back home their passport expires and they have to renew it you don't have to come back to new zealand or you know rush back to new zealand to do that you can stay outside and do this application but if you'll be doing outside it's best to get an e-visa so that everything is done you know electronically otherwise you have to courier your passport to new zealand and wait for them to courier it back to you which if you have time in your home country you can do that if you don't have time then the fastest way is by transferring and getting an e-visa so how much would it cost remember that if you want a physical visa label they are going to charge you a fee but let's see how much it costs and the timeline going to the fee page if i put here transfer transfer you see that i have um four options transfer a visa label to a new passport you have online and paper so you can request for your 
physical visa label online or via paper you have transfer an e-visa to a new passport again online or paper so this one they say is free let me just put it and we'll see i'll put a nationality obviously i'm nigerian so i'm going to use nigeria and i'm going to assume that i'm doing it in nigeria just so that we can see view so since i'm transferring e-visa is free processing time 90 percent within nine days an average time is one day if i want to do that on paper i will change it transfer and put on paper oh i have to search again i'll just put the nearest albania Oh, sorry. What is this? Let me put English. Um, <laughs> I don't understand that language. Let me use Nigeria. <laughs> All right. See, it's going to cost me zero dollars, uh, zero rands, because the nearest is using rands because this is the nearest immigration New Zealand receiving center. But I have to pay the visa application service fee of 907 rands and a Korea fee between this amount. That is because they are having to send it to the nearest Immigration New Zealand Processing Center, which is in South Africa. So you pay the service fee and you pay Korea fee, but the actual application cost is free. Now we have um, transfer to label. I'll do online because obviously we are going to pay on paper. I'll just put Nepal. Ah, uh, Armenia, I guess. <laughs> so you have to pay the application fee of $150. But the good thing is that you're not going to pay any VAC service fees because you're applying online. Now, if you're going to apply on paper, VAC service fees will come in here. So take note. Since we are requesting a visa label, or are doing it online anyway, we will pay $150 as the application cost. So for visa label, that's the cost. But you're not going to pay any VAC service fee because you're not sending your application on paper. It's not a paper application. However, you're going to have to send your details, your passports to Immigration New Zealand in Auckland so that they can transfer your visa and give you a physical level. Let us see what happens if I put Nigeria. Let's see. Same thing. You still have to send it to New Zealand. Anyway, so that is what you need to do if you want to transfer your visa to your new passport. Now, sometimes your temporary visa was granted, but you were given a shorter length due to the expiration of your passport. So let's say you were supposed to get three years, for instance, but they gave you one and a half years because your passport was going to expire somewhere between that three years you can actually apply for a balance of your visa and this is how you do it so when you apply for the balance that balance can be transferred as an e-visa or a visa label if you want a visa label you will need to send your passport to immigration new zealand and pay a fee to apply for your balance you need to complete the application for transfer or confirmation of a visa form and then you have to include a copy of your new passport a copy of your old passport if available and the letter from Immigration New Zealand confirming your visa balance. Maybe you, if what happens if you don't have your old passport, let's see. It said if your old passport was lost or stolen, you have to upload or include a copy of a police report showing that loss was reported. But if your old passport was not returned to you with your new passport for some reason, Provide a cover letter with your application to let them know because you know if your old passport was damaged, you have to upload a letter confirming this from your embassy or high commission. If your name has changed, that's your name is different from on your new passport from your old passport, you will need to provide evidence of a name change. For instance, maybe you got married, so a copy of your marriage certificate. If you are making a request for more than one person, so if more than one family member is requesting a visa transfer at the same time each person has to complete separate application forms and pay separate fees if they are requesting visa label and this one is for new zealand citizens that hold foreign passports so let's say dual citizenship 
it says here that they cannot your resident or permanent resident visa cannot be transferred into your new foreign passport if you are now a new zealand citizen i mean because you are a citizen right what you have to now do is request for a new zealand passport because a new zealand citizen is not able to hold a visa under the immigration act 2009 what happens is if you have to return to new zealand but you don't have your new zealand passport yet however you are a new zealand citizen and you also hold a foreign passport to use your foreign passport to travel to new zealand and still be allowed to return to new zealand as a citizen you have to request a new zealand citizen endorsement in your foreign passport before you travel so this happens in cases where you've applied for um, a new zealand passport and it's not yet ready but you need to travel out of new zealand and you have to return to new zealand that's what you do if you don't want to apply online then you have to download and complete the application for transfer or confirmation form and then you must send them the completed form a certified copy of your new passport if you're requesting an e-visa your new passport if you are requesting a visa label a certified copy of your old passport if you have it available and the processing fee if you are requesting a visa level let's open up the form and see what it looks like the paper form so this is the form in paper and it's going to be asking you for details so your personal details your name gender town everything and we go to the second page you complete the form of communication um, if you are going to use a licensed immigration advisor then what are you applying for this is where you specify if you are applying to transfer your visa or balance of your visa or whatever and then confirmation of your residence status so are you a permanent resident are you a citizen or a temporary resident and then a declaration by you this is just simply signing your signature and date and if you use an immigration advisor, this is where they fill out everything. If you are assisting someone who is an applicant, this is where you put everything. This session is for your fees, where they are going to charge the application fee if you are applying for a visa label. That's it for paper application. If you're going to do online, this is the application form. Similar thing as a paper application, only that is online. It's going to ask if you are an immigration advisor or if you are the one applying. Then it opens the form. Again, ask for your personal details, ask for your contact details how they should contact you about this application. And if you selected yes, this section is for what you're applying for. So what are you applying for? And the additional documents you upload here. That's where you upload your passport. You submit everything. You check that you fill the form completely and then you submit it. So that's it. So that's what the application form looks like if you be applying online. So now you see the two forms, whether you're doing a paper application or you're doing an online application. The details that they require are the same. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Subscribe to join the community. Like this video, share it to people who will need it. And if you have any question, ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching to the end. Bye and see you in the next video.